What if everything you've been told about weight loss has been missing one crucial piece? What if there's an actual biological threshold in your body that when not met, keeps you hungry no matter how many calories you've eaten? This isn't another diet fad or internet myth. This is backed by legitimate, peer-reviewed research that somehow never made it into mainstream nutrition advice. For years, we've been operating under the simple model of calories in versus calories out. Eat less, move more, right? But what if your body is far smarter than that? What if it has specific nutrient targets that must be met and it will literally drive you to keep eating until those needs are satisfied, regardless of how many calories you've already consumed? The implications are enormous, and by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly why so many diets fail and what you can actually do about it. If you're new here, welcome. We're building a community focused on real, evidence-based health strategies, not trends. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our content. And drop a comment telling us where you're watching from. We love connecting with our viewers around the world. Now, let's dive into this game-changing science. The story begins with animal researchers who noticed something peculiar. When animals were fed diets low in protein, they would continue eating excessively, consuming far more carbohydrates and fats than normal. It was as if they were desperately searching for something their bodies needed. This observation led scientists to ask, could humans work the same way? The answer changed everything. Researchers discovered what's now called the protein leverage hypothesis. Your brain, specifically the hypothalamus, constantly monitors your protein intake. When protein consumption falls below a specific threshold, powerful appetite mechanisms activate, essentially forcing you to eat until that protein target is reached. Think about what this means. You could consume a massive meal with thousands of calories, but if it's low in protein, your brain hasn't detected enough of what it's looking for. You'll still feel hungry. You'll keep eating and you'll gain weight while thinking you simply lack willpower. The truth is, your biology was working against you. Research published in the journal PLOS1 tested this hypothesis in lean humans under controlled conditions. Participants were given diets with identical calories, but different protein percentages, 10%, 15%, and 25%. The results were striking. When dietary protein dropped from 15% to 10%, total energy intake increased by 12%. The participants eating lower protein consumed significantly more food, predominantly from snacks between meals because their bodies were trying to reach that protein threshold. This wasn't a conscious choice, it was a biological drive as powerful as thirst. So what is this mysterious threshold? Based on multiple research studies using different methodologies, scientists have identified protein requirements that remain remarkably consistent across diverse populations. The protein leverage effect becomes evident when protein intake falls too low and appetite increases to compensate. For most adults, research suggests that protein requirements range from approximately 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight per day for individuals engaged in regular physical activity. For sedentary individuals, the basic requirement is around 0.8 grams per kilogram, though evidence suggests this may be insufficient for optimal appetite control. Converting to pounds, this translates to roughly 0.36 to 0.73 grams per pound of body weight. However, the key insight from protein leverage research is about the proportion of protein in your diet. Studies show that when protein falls below approximately 15% of total caloric intake, appetite mechanisms activate strongly. When protein comprises 10% or less of calories, the drive to eat increases substantially. Here's where timing becomes critically important. Getting adequate protein early in the day appears particularly effective for appetite control, 
When you front load your protein intake at breakfast, your hypothalamus registers that protein needs are being met early, which reduces appetite signaling for hours afterward. You gain control over your eating decisions rather than fighting constant biological hunger signals. Consider someone weighing 150 pounds. For optimal appetite control, they should aim for approximately 90 to 110 grams of protein daily, distributed across meals, with a significant portion consumed at breakfast. This isn't about perfection. It's about understanding the biological mechanism driving your hunger. Let's explore the fascinating mechanisms behind this phenomenon. Your hypothalamus continuously monitors for what scientists call an amino acid deficit, essentially approaching shortage. When it detects this deficit, it aggressively increases appetite signals. But there's another player, your liver. When your liver detects insufficient protein intake, it releases a hormone called fibroblast growth factor 21, or FGF21. This hormone specifically increases appetite, particularly for protein-rich foods. You might think this is perfect. You'll naturally crave chicken or fish instead of chips. Unfortunately, here's the problem. Over 90% of people cannot accurately distinguish between general hunger and specific protein hunger. Your liver and brain are sending urgent signals to eat more protein, but your conscious experience is simply an overwhelming urge to eat more food you can't identify what your body is actually requesting. This creates a destructive cycle. You're gaining weight not because you lack discipline, but because you're unknowingly trying to meet a protein requirement your body desperately needs. Your brain drives you to eat, and you respond with whatever foods are convenient or habitual. You consume hundreds or thousands of extra calories from carbohydrates and fats, all while your body continues its relentless search for adequate protein. Research from the University of Sydney and other institutions has documented this phenomenon across multiple species and in human populations worldwide. The protein leverage hypothesis explains why diets high in processed foods, which are typically low in protein density, lead to excessive calorie consumption. When protein is diluted in the food supply, people eat more total calories attempting to satisfy their protein requirements. Now that you understand the fundamental principle, let's discuss specific strategies to optimize this for fat loss. These are evidence-based approaches that work with your biology. First, prioritize protein at breakfast. Pair this with healthy fats, because fats contribute to satiety through different mechanisms involving hormones like GLP-1. This combination creates a powerful one-two punch for appetite control that extends throughout your day. At lunch, choose rapidly absorbing protein sources, such as whey protein, fish, or lean poultry. These proteins are digested and absorbed quickly, signaling to your brain that protein needs are being met. This is especially valuable if you have a sedentary job. Here's a strategic approach. Allocate the majority of your carbohydrate intake to evening meals. By dinner time, if you've already met your protein target earlier, your appetite will naturally be lower. Those powerful biological hunger signals won't be driving you to overeat. You can enjoy carbohydrates without excessive consumption or dramatic blood sugar spikes. Apple cider vinegar offers another evidence-based tool. When consumed, your body converts it into acetate, which can enter your cell's mitochondria and be used directly as fuel. This provides your brain with an alternative energy source, helping to reduce appetite signals. Finally, adequate sodium intake through balanced electrolyte supplementation can support appetite control. Your body monitors sodium levels similarly to protein. When sodium is insufficient, appetite increases until needs are met. Using quality electrolytes can help manage hunger, particularly when following lower carbohydrate approaches or practicing intermittent fasting. This section is critical if you're exercising regularly. Exercise fundamentally changes your protein requirements in ways you must understand. Research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition and other journals has clearly documented this effect. When you perform exercise, particularly higher-intensity cardiovascular exercise or resistance training, 
your body temporarily increases its protein threshold. For several hours after your workout, your hypothalamus raises its protein target. This means you'll experience intense hunger that won't stop until you satisfy this temporarily elevated requirement. This explains a common phenomenon. People start exercising more to lose fat. They're working hard, sweating, burning calories, but then for hours afterward, they're ravenously hungry. They end up consuming more calories than they burned, and they actually gain fat instead of losing it. They increase exercise volume, thinking they need to work harder, and the problem worsens despite their efforts. The solution is straightforward. Within approximately two hours of finishing your workout, increase your protein intake by 30 to 50 grams above your normal daily target. This additional protein satisfies the temporarily elevated requirement and prevents the overwhelming hunger that leads to overconsumption. Research on athletes and physically active individuals consistently shows elevated protein requirements compared to sedentary populations. Studies using various methodologies suggest that individuals engaged in regular endurance exercise need approximately 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight per day, while those doing intense resistance training may benefit from 1.6 to 2.0 grams per kilogram per day. Essential amino acids, particularly leucine, can be valuable tools in the post-workout window for managing post-exercise appetite effectively. Here's something important. Protein isn't the only nutrient that operates this way. Calcium follows a remarkably similar pattern, and understanding this creates opportunities for powerful appetite control strategies. Your body requires calcium for bone health, metabolic function, muscle contraction, and electrical signaling between cells. Just like with protein, if you're not consuming enough calcium, research suggests your body may keep you hungry until that need is met. Research published in the Journal of Nutrition examined how calcium affects appetite and energy intake. In controlled studies, participants who consumed higher calcium amounts experienced greater appetite suppression compared to those consuming lower calcium, even when protein intake was controlled. The addition of calcium to meals resulted in what researchers called overcompensation. Participants ate less at subsequent meals than the calories provided by the calcium-containing preload. This creates an opportunity for a strategic double impact. Consider foods that are simultaneously high in both protein and calcium. Dairy products like Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, and high-quality whey protein. Fish with edible bones like sardines and canned salmon. Fortified protein shakes. When you consume these foods, you're satisfying two separate appetite control mechanisms simultaneously. The research on calcium and appetite shows mixed results, with some studies demonstrating clear effects and others showing minimal impact. However, the weight of evidence suggests that adequate calcium intake, particularly when combined with sufficient protein, supports better appetite control and supporting fat loss efforts. While calcium supplementation alone has modest effects on weight loss, the combination of high-quality protein and adequate calcium from whole food sources appears most effective for appetite management and supporting fat loss efforts. Let's consolidate everything into a clear, actionable protocol. This is your evidence-based roadmap for using the protein leverage hypothesis to control appetite and lose fat. Begin each day with adequate protein. Aim for at least 25 to 35 grams at breakfast from high-quality sources. Combine this with healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, nuts, or eggs to maximize satiety. This morning protein load signals to your hypothalamus that protein needs are being addressed, reducing appetite throughout the day. At lunch, prioritize fast-absorbing protein sources – fish, chicken breast, turkey, or whey protein. This prevents overeating during your midday meal. Aim for another 25 to 35 grams of protein. Reserve most of your carbohydrate intake for evening meals. By dinnertime, having already met your protein target, your natural appetite will be significantly lower. You can enjoy carbohydrates without risk of overconsumption. 
Focus on combining high-protein and high-calcium foods whenever possible. Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, sardines, salmon, dairy-based protein shakes. This double impact creates powerful hunger control. If you exercise, especially with higher intensity, plan for an additional 30 to 50 grams of protein within two hours post-workout. This prevents the ravenous hunger that leads to overeating. Distribute your total daily protein intake across three to four meals rather than concentrating it in one sitting. While your body can process large protein doses, distributed intake throughout the day maintains more consistent appetite suppression. Track your protein intake for at least a week to ensure you're meeting targets. Most people significantly underestimate their protein consumption and wonder why they're constantly hungry. The protein leverage hypothesis represents a fundamental shift in understanding appetite and fat loss. For decades, we've operated under the oversimplified calories in versus calories out model, but reality is far more nuanced. Your body has specific nutrient targets that must be met, and it will drive you to eat until those needs are satisfied regardless of total calories consumed. Understanding this and working with your biology rather than against it is the key to sustainable fat loss without constant hunger, deprivation, or feeling like you're fighting against yourself. You're not lacking willpower or discipline. You've been missing a critical piece of information about how your body actually works. If this video provided valuable insights you can actually use, please type yes in the comments. That one word genuinely motivates us to continue producing evidence-based content that can change lives. Hit that like button, share this with someone struggling with their weight. Sometimes one piece of information becomes the turning point someone desperately needs. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss our upcoming videos where we continue exploring the real science of health and fat loss. Thank you for watching, for being part of this community, and for committing to understanding your body at a deeper level. Here's to your success.